to today's video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to achieve this amazing fictional Coinonia flyer design. Stick with me and let's get started. Okay, so the app we are using, of course, is our Pixel Lab. So we're going to go ahead and open it and then we'll choose our canvas size. Click on this three dot on the top right hand. Click on image. So we're going to change the width to 1060. We're going to click OK. Click on our A icon and delete the new test. Then click on the background icon. Click on color. Click on the color on the top. Just select black. But we're not using that black measuring. So I'm going to click on this center icon. Click on import. Let's bring in the design. So we'll be looking at it and be fast. So this is the design I want us to do great today. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the background. Click on import. Let me bring in the background. I think it's closer here. So this is the background we're working with. I'm going to mark this good sign, then increase it to cover the working space. So this is what we have. I'm going to move it to the back. Then click on this icon below the three dots. Click on this padlock icon and lock the background. Then click on that same icon to go back. Of course, watch this video to the end so that we get the password you will impute to unlock and get the design resources okay and also the link to that is in the description okay so the next thing we're going to do now is to bring in the image bring in apostles image in case you're watching this video you have not listened to apostles message or maybe you don't listen to apostles message or maybe you don't even know him apostle joshua sermon is a system it's a man that god have used to Bless my life in no small way. So I encourage you to go out on YouTube, check Koinona Global YouTube, and get his messages and listen to your life will never remain the same. I promise you. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the picture, the apostles picture. Okay. Then we're going to click on this icon. Look at this down, down, the last icon down. I'm going to click on this one to rotate it like this. Hope you're seeing it. They will mark this good sign. So we'll get this. I'm going to increase it. Of course, whenever you increase your image, you have to copy it and delete the old one. Okay, so I'm going to bring this here. Go to relative position. Position it at the center. Then mark this good sign. Bring it down a bit. Just a bit. Mark this good sign. Then I'll go ahead and lock it. Click on this icon below the third dot and then lock it. So I'll click on that same icon to go back. Good. The next I'm going to do is to click on import. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring in this coin and I'll look. Mark this good sign. So I'm going to reduce it. Then I'm going to bring it up here. Okay, use relative position, make sure it's at the center. Then I'll click on shape. Watch and see what I'm going to do. I'll, my, I'll increase my radius to 100. Then go down to opacity zero go down again stroke to the highest go down again blow radius to the highest then i'm going to drag this lady to cover up this space you are seeing at the center cover it up or make this good sign so we have something like this i'm going to position this here go to color enable it and then choose white see i'm working on the background this is called background manipulation no? okay so i'm going to Click on this icon below the three dot. Press hold this thing here. That place you're seeing two dots into four places. Press hold it and drag it to the back. I'll move that image to the back of our poster. Copy it again. Bring it here. Please let me increase it more. Okay. I'll also move it to the back of our poster and the coin on here. I hope you are seeing it. Good. I'm going to go ahead and lock the lock it. And then I will bring in, there is this effect, I want to bring in people that are praying. It's a prayer meeting, okay, not a prayer meeting actually. So, Father's blessing. That's one of the major ways to scan access to the blessings of the Father is in the place of prayer. Okay, prayer, prayer, enter me, Adula. Okay, I'm going to place this here. Let me reduce it a bit. Okay, then we're going to move it to the back. I'm going to click on this icon below the three dot and then drag it to the back. We are actually in the season of um the season of um church flyer design. 
Okay, in this challenge, I'm going to click on opacity and then reduce the opacity. Don't be a see what I'm doing there. Be a seeing it. Okay, I think that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it too. Sorry. So I'm going to lock it. Perfect. So the minute I'm done locking it, I'll put in, click on my icon, click the test, click on edit. Watch closely to see the password. Okay. I'm going to click Father. I'm going to type in Father's Blessing. Watch and see the font I will use for that. Okay. That long font. I'm going to click OK. Then bring this here. I'm going to increase it. Increase it. Then I will go to Color. Let's choose the color. You can decide to use gradient. Then we use this default white and black gradient. Then we're going to click on this plus icon. Okay, let's work on this white one first. Then click on this icon down. Click on your picker. Select the background. Let's select the color from this background. Okay. I'll click OK. Then I'll select the black one. Click on this last icon here. Click on this picker on the top, the first one. Select the background. Then select another color here. Click OK. So this is what we have. Let's see what it looks like. So we have something like this. Good. So I'm going to mark this good sign. I'll go to font. Let me show you the font I used. Okay. Then let's, go. let's check it out here. Okay, the font is also Kajiro Bold. Kajiro Bold. This is it here. Okay, so I'm going to click. Okay, so this is what we have. Of course, when you increase it, you discover that the space between two of them is actually much. So you go to line spacing and reduce it. Hope you're seeing it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's reduce it a bit. So keep it here. Father's blessing. Then I will go to shadow and enable it. Of course, some of us are making this mistake. When you increase your shadow, you leave it like this. This, the, the, if you leave your shadow like this, your design is equal to zero. Please pay close attention. Immediately you add shadow to your design, click on your plus icon here. Drag this last one to this side and let it be very transparent. Okay. I'll click OK. Hope you are seeing it. Then I'll go down, come to offset Y, do trick offset X. Three. I'll mark this design. So we have something like this. I think that's up. Oh, it's kind of the yellow is too much. Let's work on it. I'll go to my color. Let's see. Let's see. I'll go to my picker. Let's get something that is not too 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 shady. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Okay. I think this is okay. Or you can even decide to go for something more darker. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see this. Okay. And then this one, let's adjust this up. Okay. I think this is perfect. This is perfect. This coin, you know, let's move it up a bit. Okay. Perfect. So the next, I'm going to click on shape, drag it like this, drag it like this. Mark this good sign. I will take it to the back of our post to picture. Hope you're seeing it. Perfect. Let me reduce it just a bit. Okay. I'm going to position it here. Go to my relative position and show it at the center. Then I will copy it again. Bring it down here. Scroll by the left. Okay, that's not the one I used. We can just use this one, but let's delete it. We're not using this one. Okay. So we're going to click on our test icon, click on edit, and put in the date. It's just a fictional flyer. It's not real. It's just for teaching purpose. Okay. Okay. Mm, it's just what teaching people Okay. I'm going to click. Okay. Bring it down. I'll drag it like this. Then I'll go to color. I'm using black. Mark this good sign. Go to font. 
I'm using this font called Naza Heavy. So that's the font I'm using. I'll reduce it. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to copy it and write our post Joshua. So, so some people see me doing well online and want it to be capital letter, only opposed to be small letter. They'll be like, ah, 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 ah. I started this my journey online from when I started listening to opposition messages on personal development, productivity, and all your work with God, your relationship with Jesus, and so many more. Please go check out this message on Koinuna Global on YouTube. You'll be blessed. You'll be so blessed. If you don't have the thought to watch it on YouTube, you can DM me on WhatsApp. Okay, DM me on WhatsApp, and I'll add you to the Telegram group where I uploaded some of his messages, and I'm still uploading. Okay, so I want to change the font for Apostle only. So I'm going to select it. Look at it on the top. On the top, click on your font and then select only Apostle. I'll go to my recent. Let me look for the. It's not here. Let me show you the font I want to use. I'm using this Autograph Personal. Personal, okay. No click. Okay, so we have that there. Okay, perfect. So the next, I'm going to click on this center icon. Click on Import. And let me bring in that effect. Okay, I know you are getting massive value already. Oh my God. Please go ahead and comment in the comment section. Massive, massive, massive value. Okay, comment. Like this video, please. Like this video. If you like this video, it will help more people to be able to gain access to this video. Yes, where you are getting blessed, there are so many people that need to be blessed too. Okay comment 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 and let more people gain access to it like the video so we're gonna bring this in here then we'll position it at the center okay so with this we will now write the location i will select this my date edit then write venue and put in the venue so put in the location all of them will be capital letter okay sorry See the importance of locking all these stuff. So I'm going to reduce it. Oh, is that doing that now? Okay. So I'm going to go to align. Okay. And click on the center alignment. Then position this. Reduce it a bit more. Position it here. Okay. Let's drag this down a bit. Okay, then I'll click on the center icon, click on import and bring in the social media icon. So this is it. I'm just going to crop out and I'm using only the Telegram, um, YouTube and TikTok. So this three, I'm just going to reduce it. Watch closely and you see the password. Okay, so you can gain access to the resources and, sorry, gain access to the resources and you create your own design. One thing about you know, creativity in graphic design is that the more you practice, sincerely speaking, is the more you learn. I can assure you that even in every aspect of life, if you really want to do good, do well in any aspect of any aspect at all, then you really have to give yourself to that. Okay, so we're going to type in Koinonia Global. You have to give yourself to that. The more you practice, the more you learn. That just it. So I'm going to reduce this. I want to ensure all of them are at the center. So I'm going to click on this icon below the three dots. I will select this, select this, select this, then position it at the center. Okay. Click on that same icon and go back. Okay, so the final thing is to click on import and bring in the stuff we want to use to. Oh, not this, not this. Okay. So the more you practice, the more you learn. So I'm going to bring this in here. Then we're gonna go ahead and reduce it, reduce it, and bring it here. Okay. So I'm going to copy this, edit. Okay. We have 4 p.m. daily. Okay, so we're gonna bring it down. Go to color. We're using white. 
So position it well using your position icon. So if you want to master design, if you want to master any skill at all, number one is you have to practice. Give yourself to that and be consistent. Not you do today and you do one in next one month. You can ne never, you can't. It's not possible. Okay, there are principles when it comes to all this. There are principles and if you don't obey the principles, they're not going to get the results you need. Okay? So the final thing I want to do is just to click on this center icon. Or maybe I can just click on this icon below the three dots and select one of those shadows we use. And then let's select it. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Then reduce it. I want to do something. And go to color. I'm going to use yellow. Watch and see what I'm going Don't go and bring this thing and leave this thing like this. Hmm. Your design will be close to rubbish. So I'm going to reduce the opacity very well. Let me reduce this more. Okay. Okay, reduce it more. Okay, okay, let's just leave it at 40. So obviously with this, we are done. The next we're going to do is to move to the editing part of this design. Of course, you have to ensure that everything is at the center. Okay, ensure everything is at the center. Very important. Okay, let's check this shape. It's like this shape is not at the center. Okay, it's at the center. This father's blessing is here at the center. Okay, it's not at the center. Koinonia is here at the center. Let's see. So it's at the center. So we are good to go now. So we'll go ahead and, of course, save our work. Okay. Remember to save as image and then remember to save as project in case you want to make any corrections. Of course, we are using Ultra. Ultra Save to Gallery. So the app we are using is our Snapseed. So we're going to open it. Click on this center icon and then bring in our design. So we're going to click on tools, click on details, structure, 50, sharpening. Mm, let's, see. No, let's, leave it, let's leave it at 50, 50. Then I'm going to mark this good sign. Then click on tools. Please, this shadow effect I added beside the apostle. If you're doing it, be very careful. In fact, you can just not even put it at all. But if you must put it, be very careful so that you're not going to use and misuse it. Please. I'll click on tools again. Click on tonal contrast. And that adjust it. So this is what we have here. Before, after. Go ahead and export and save. And we are done. Please like, comment, share. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Remember to check out our post messages on YouTube at Koinonia Global. Bye.